Are you ready? Sorry. Oh, so nice. I just did it. Right. Do you know, yeah, you can. And just can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you a great Yeah. I just feel like I'm two swords. It really reminds me of something. Um, after. Like I come back in and we're started, yeah. then I'm just gonna have you go on the microphone and be like, "Hi, this is Joy Orbison, and you're listening to me here." Listening to Beats in Space here on WNYU 89.1 FM New York. Here are the hosts Tim Sweeney, Joy Orbison, and Ben UFO here in the studio with us tonight. Thank you guys. Um, What's going on, Tim? Hello. <laughs> and we just, you were just listening to Joy Orbison. Uh, so my name's Tim Sweeney. I do the Beats in Space radio show here in New York City on WNYU 89.1 FM. Um, we're at the radio station right now, and uh, I've been doing it for the past 15 years. Yeah, it's incredible how long he's been doing it for, actually. That, that does blow me away. <laughs> and it's been going on for so many years. 15 years, and it's a long time to do a radio show every week, you know? Holding down a weekly two-hour show is really time-consuming and takes a lot of energy and effort. Tim will try to deny this, right, but he's used to have, like, really long hair on. smallest things such as like taking a Polaroid of the artist and just little things like that are what make, makes me really like really impressed about what he does. The picture you get to you know like see what they look like you know they write their they write on there so you get to see how they write which I think can tell you something about them as well. It's kind of all these ways to kind of connect you know listeners with with the radio show and the artist. For me Beats in Space is the most relevant and interesting show on, on the radio? Um, I can't remember exactly when I first heard it, but I, one thing I do remember is probably when I was working, I used to work in Soho. I used to go and fetch coffees, deliver all the posts and stuff, sort of five years, just kind of obsessing over certain types of music. And what I really liked about it was a real wide mix of stuff. I, disco was never really my thing, but it was something I became interested in through the show, like a really informative time for me. You know, it's quite diverse. It's got a lot of interesting people and like people tend to put together quite interesting mixes and I just think they always have a sort of like standout quality. Everybody listens to it, uh, either they are DJs or they're into electronic music, you know, you have to recognize what he's doing and how important it is. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Boom. That's pretty cool. This no. actually came out well. <laughs> I, uh, at the very beginning, what I want is um, for you to go on the microphone. No, I didn't expect it to get to where it is. You know, I just started the radio show when I was 18. Um, when I started going to NYU, I was really into radio since high school. I came up to New York and I played on WNYU. So I knew about the station and I was kind of, I was interested in it. And when I ended up going here, contacted the station and got started doing my own show like right away um, and then just kind of never quit from there. I had to make a choice and and then at some point it was like I think I can make it you know and live off my DJing make this my career and and so I just I, I went for it.
When you mess up, Tim, you don't make a little mess. You make a huge, huge, huge mess. Victor from Washington Heights is a caller to the Beats and Space hotline. He's a harasser of me and my life. And he's become like kind of a part of the show with his messages, either of how much he hates the show or how much he loves the show. He, I mean, he does talk about killing me sometimes. He knows what he wants and if he doesn't get it, he, he gets upset. When I, when we're doing an interview and stuff, yeah. can I swear or do I keep it? No. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, don't swear. I'll, don't swear. My, I'll put my Radio 1 hat on then. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, there's a sign right there. See, no cursing, please. Yeah, okay. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. When I'm playing records for him, I'm focused, but I'm trying to deal, dig a little bit deeper than I usually would. Every week, it's kind of like this intense you know, learning session. You could really play whatever you wanted when you came down here. When I play stuff and he's like, what's that? I know he's asking what is that so he can write his track list, but the fact that he doesn't know it makes me feel like, cool man, I'm on, I'm doing the right thing. You know, it's great to have his stamp of approval. Yeah, there, there's definitely tons of people I've, I want to get on the show that haven't been on. And, and I'm always trying, like I'm always hoping at some point it'll work out. When Tim has guests on the show, he dedicates the focus entirely to them. Thank you for coming down again. Thank you so much for having me again. No, no problem. And uh, let's get back to some more music then. Ben, Okay. Do you good. want to take over? You like to drink. Ah, oh, yes. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Tim is such a humble and nice guy, at least when he's sober, <laughs> that... <laughs> Beats in Space has a def very defining and influential um, effect on any DJ or artist. And it's just amazing that he has this, um, yeah, this ability to bring people in and bring people together to do the show every week. You're only remembered for what you do at the end, Tim. I mean, it's been a long process, it's been a hard process, but it's been really fun. I had no idea it was gonna turn into this global thing. He's, not, he's doing this on his own and that's, that's a really big deal, man. Doing what we do, you never know how long you're going to do it for, and it's great to see somebody who is doing, it just seems like he does what he loves. If it pisses some people off, fine, but you know, like, I know other people will be into it, and there's always next week. It's a super relaxed environment. Uh, Tim is obviously, like, really comfortable here. It just continues to amaze me. What he does here, it has a rippling effect across the continent. Yeah, he's definitely doing, you know, a lot for good music. I mean, I don't want to get bored with it, so it's it's got to be changing all the time, you know? I mean, the radio show is just going to keep going. I don't, I don't have any plans on stopping anytime soon. Um, so hopefully we can keep it going for another 15. That's it from us here on Beats and Space WMIU. 89.1 FM here in New York City. Boy! It's over. I did so well! It's over.